What's up? So we're here in the house. We're partying. We're hanging out. You guys tired of that dance yet? I've done that enough. Some stuff to talk about. You know, I haven't really covered news in a while just because I haven't really found it that very interesting, but we're gonna cover some news now. So first bit of news coming at you guys today is the gold gate. So everybody's like freaking out about all this gold stuff, right? So let's recap what's going on, right? So with the gold gate, like Fox next accidentally put up an offer that was $30. You could buy it three times. If you bought it all three times, you'd get a minimum of 14 million gold, but other people were reporting closer to 20 million. And, uh, yeah. So people are pretty mad about that cause they put it up and then it got pulled. So people were mad cause they were like, I want to buy this, but then Fox next wouldn't let you. And then it was a whole big mess, but good news. Good news, good news. Uh, coming from Reddit today by the community manager. It is, uh, it's here, well, basically what they're saying is gonna be like, hey, we're not gonna offer these packs again, but what we are gonna offer is uh, a 21 day to three week calendar that is going to be giving up to, it's a little over 10 million gold just for free. So that's super cool that we're gonna be getting that, super helpful, and then they're also gonna have similar offers so they say, I don't know, I don't really trust Fox Next offers, no offense, Fox Next, but so they're putting those out there. It's going to be pretty, uh, I don't know, I might buy them, might not, kind of just depends if I'm already getting 10 million for free, I'll probably be set, but we'll see. Um, I think it's a good move by them. I think this is a, a goodwill sort of thing, uh, which they really, really need because if they didn't fix this gold thing in an appropriate way, I think that a lot of people would have been... Quitting? I've heard a lot of people say they were already gonna quit if they didn't fix these offers, so I'm just glad they're doing something good because they needed to. Next thing! So we're talking about some new data mines that are coming. And so for these, just real quick, real easy, Nick Fury is coming back on July 21st, and Iron Man is coming on June 12th. That, and we know that Phoenix is coming at the end of June. I wanna say the 28th, 27th. I could be wrong about that. I don't actually remember. I'm trying to look and find it, and uh, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. I can't find it, it doesn't matter. End of June is when Phoenix is coming, so pretty uh, decently spaced out. But uh, yeah, so that's there. And um, yeah, make sure you're ready to get the legendaries. Because as we all know, make sure you have your Kree minions ready for Fury. And for Iron Man, make sure you have your shield characters ready. They're good. Iron Man is especially good now in the Power Armor team, so you definitely want to have him ready to rock and roll. And uh, yeah, get yourself a good new team for Alliance Wars. All right, so the next thing after that we have, I just want to show you guys this right below, is uh, War Machine and M'Baku are going to be becoming more available in the game. What that means basically, as you can see below, is that War Machine's coming to the raid store, which is sick. Right, because I'm only farming Sabretooth from there right now. I assume it's probably going to cost the same as Sabretooth because he's a really good character. So we got War Machine and Sabretooth. They're going to be in the raid stores. We already know that, but you know what I mean. M'Baku is going to be added to uh, the premium orbs, mega orbs, basic orbs, ultimus orbs, and supply sections of the store, as you can read. Uh, that's pretty cool. Uh, it's good to just see that more characters are becoming farmable. I'm running out of stuff to farm. I'm gonna be straight up with you. I uh, farm no one from the heroes nodes anymore. I already have everybody done, so I just play three. I just sim the first mission of heroes three times so I can use minimal energy on that just to get the achievement now. So hopefully we'll get some new people coming to the heroes nodes. I don't know, I guess sooner or later, I'm sure that other people, I mean, I've been playing this game for a long time, over 500 days. I'm sure that other people are feeling the same way as me, just kind of like, oh, I need more stuff to do. So we'll see how that works. Hopefully there will be new stuff coming soon. The people are obviously upset about, I guess, the whole, the gold thing, because I don't know, I mean, it's kind of shady. You know, I, I read on Reddit that 85 people were able to purchase that offer, but then I know that they also said on Reddit today that uh, they're, not going to be able to purchase these following offers that are coming up. Um, I just think it's really interesting because it's like, I don't know, like everybody got mad about that. And it was interesting because people were just like, all right, enough is enough. This with the Phoenix thing, like that is enough. Like we're going to get rid of Fox next. And I don't know. I think the thing is you put a bunch of bad reviews up. People got really angry. And then what happened? Right. So good things happen because we actually got more along the lines of what we wanted. I, the reason I want to touch on this, I think that's really important because like Fox Next has done things that we don't really like sometimes as players. And you know, there's other things that we tolerate because that's 
just kind of like that's what you have to do with these like you know like freemium sort of like gotcha games like you have to sometimes just you don't like everything but you put up with it but then you know some things like this you just can't continue to put up with and you say hey like we're not going to spend any more money we're going to review the game really negatively until something changes because something has to change so i did want to touch on some of these reviews i didn't really want to read any of them i just wanted to point out the fact that they're here right so i think it's really important right so we can see like just some of these reviews are just like oh yeah like i know they need money but they're greedy i know they need money but they're greedy like we have to give them money but they're greedy they don't worry about the customers that's pretty much like what each of these have said even this guy says i've changed my five star review to a one star he's been playing it every day for a year spent money on it and it's just like yeah like that's the thing right so you don't want to ruin your loyal fan bases so i really i just want to take this time in this section to say like hey like i hope that fox next sees this because it's important that they don't keep doing what they have been doing because people are going to get fed up people are going to quit and then the game's going to die right and none of us want that like if you're watching this video i know you don't want the game to die right i don't want that you don't want that so it's tough right like it's tough so kind of what i'm thinking is that what we need what we want is just kind of like Fox next, you gotta give us a middle ground here, right? Like you have to give fair offers. Like we're not saying like, hey, give us 10 million gold every three weeks for free. Like nobody's saying that. It would be awesome, but like nobody's saying that, right? But what we are saying is like, hey, be fair. Like let's not tune things to impossible degrees. Let's not make things cost a gazillion dollars. Let's not, you know, this or that, or like give us a release cadence. Like, hey, like this character just came out, like Minerva, right? Where's Minerva? Why isn't she in premium warps? Why isn't she farmable? Because she's super good. So they're withholding her, which is kind of ironic because people can't even pay for her right now. But it's just kind of like, where's the consistency? You know what I mean? So I'm not saying like, hey, we got to boycott Fox next. Don't spend any money. <laughs> I'm not saying to do that. Don't do that. There's no point in doing that right now. But I think we just need to say like, hey, we're not going to put up with like shady business practices. We're not going to put up with bad loot box stuff. We're not going to put up with like just poor, I guess, management of the game. So I know a lot of people are angry about the Phoenix six star requirement. I was not as angry about this because I've been playing games like this all the time and I know that that is something that happens. But with the gold thing, I kind of got a little just like angry. I recorded a video yesterday that I'm not going to post because this was before they had put out a response to fixing it. And But it was basically like I looked at some of these reviews, I talked about them, and then I, I gave a pretty similar just like speech to what I'm giving right now, which is this, is that we need to make sure that we don't let Fox Next take advantage of us you know and we just gotta work together we're gonna band together and just figure it out you know like we did with this like we did this and then the change came right and so that's what we've got to do we got to work together we got to just stick together and we just gotta you know when enough is enough we just gotta say hey like we're not gonna do this anymore like this is not going to continue to fly like this has got to stop and so we'll figure out where that is of course like i said some parts will be uncomfortable but anyway so guys i just want to thank you for watching as always uh you guys are great and um as you can see i'm like i'm all set up in my new place and uh it's really cool like this is a kitchen in the background but like you can't really tell right so you can see it but it's just kind of like shiny stuff i think it looks awesome i'm super happy some people commented on my last video and they were like oh you can't use a kitchen as a background for your videos but guess what i'm doing it and it looks great so whatever um everything's set up it's really awesome i'm just super thankful um I get to do YouTube because you guys support me. So thank you for that. Um, it's awesome. So thank you guys for supporting me. If you want to know more how you can further support me, Patreon link is in the description. Of course, that is never expected, but of course, always appreciated. Anyways, guys, we're going to be streaming hopefully this weekend, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. We'll see what happens, um, but hopefully that will be happening. In the meantime, trying to push for like getting like test server access so we can test out more teams because I want to do more stuff with Power Armor, Spider-Verse, I'm going to put out some counter, like I want to make like videos like, hey, this is how you beat this, this is how you beat this. So I don't know if you guys had seen, but there's a counter list uh, from Austin and Misfit Doc that had come out on the Marvel Strike Force uh, blog, not the official one, but the other one. 
and um, that came out. I want to do some videos on that, but I've got to figure out because I don't have the, all the teams powered up and you can't always face certain teams. So we're working on it, right? We're working on it. So we'll see what happens there, but that's something that's coming up. If you guys would be interested in like countering, like how do you beat Brotherhood consistently? How do you beat this consistently? How do you beat this consistently? Um, let me know because that is something I want to be working on. So in the meantime, guys, thank you for watching. Smash that subscribe button. Smash that like button. Leave me a comment, and I'll see you in the next one.